Hey guys, this is Brad at Traeger Grills. I'm gonna to talk to you about a few really easy troubleshooting steps to see why your grill isn't powering on. There's only a few things that can cause this. The first one is that your grill is actually plugged into a bad outlet or an extension cord. So you wanna just maybe test it with the household appliance like a blow dryer or a blender to see if, if that power outlet is giving power. Uh, the next thing is you may be tripping your GFI. May just be a simple reset on that GFI, you should be good to go. And the third thing is you may have a break in your power cord that's connected to your Traeger. Make sure you check that out. If everything looks good with the power cords of your Traeger, we'll wanna move into the actual controller and the components of the grill. First thing is we're gonna to wanna to remove the two screws from the mounting onto the hopper to see the backside of your controller. You wanna locate the fuse on your controller. There's two different kinds, um, depending on which controller you have. You may either have a rectangular gray box or a cylindrical fuse box. They're located on the bottom left-hand corner of the controller. Oftentimes another fuse attached to that. Open that up, see if the fuse looks good. If it's black, we know we need to replace it and we'll continue to troubleshoot to see what's making that pop. In order to do this troubleshoot, we may have to clip a couple zip ties that are holding these wires together. They're gonna be just underneath the hopper there. Gives you a little more room to move them around. The black one is gonna go to your power cable. There'll be a connector that looks just like this. It should plug right in, black to black. Uh, the next cord is going to be the orange one. That should be the induction fan. You're gonna, same thing, connect that, make sure you have orange to orange. And then the third one is gonna be the red cord. Uh, your red cord is going to be the auger motor. Uh, make sure that that is plugged in as well. And then the last one is going to be your hot rod. That's the purple wires. The hot rod is gonna have two braided nylon wires on the other end that comes into this connection. Now we've confirmed that the wires are plugged into the proper connections, we're gonna do a basic troubleshoot to see which part on the Traeger isn't working right. First, I want you to unplug every cord except for the black and white. You're gonna to go to your controller and hit the on button and turn the controller to smoke. If you don't get any problems there, make sure you power the grill off and we're gonna repeat that same process, starting with the black, going to the orange, the red, and the purple. Usually we end with the purple because oftentimes the hot rod can be causing an issue and get your grill back up and running by replacing it. After doing the basic troubleshooting with the four wires on the back side of your controller, one last thing we wanna confirm is our RTD temperature probe. These two wires are plugged in properly in this little green box on the corner of your controller. If these are not plugged in properly, again, make sure you have these set in there correctly, otherwise you will get an error and your grill will not work properly. There's a basic troubleshoot on how to figure out what's going wrong with certain parts of your Traeger grill. Make sure that you register your grill on our website. This way you get your three year warranty from the date of purchase. If you need replacement parts, you can get them online on our website or call 1-800-TRAEGER.